Hey guys, it's Symphony. First things first, I stripped my hair to get all the black out and it turned actually like a pretty decent colored brown. Matches my roots like so much better. There's like a few spots where it's a little iffy, you know, like it's not perfectly even, but I'm just happy my hair is lighter, so just wanted to get that out of the way. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a spring declutter with me because everybody voted for that on both my YouTube and my Instagram that they wanted to see that before a makeup routine. I already have my makeup routine filmed and it's in the middle of being edited, so I'll have that up for you guys after this video. But since you guys wanted to see this first, this is what we're doing today. <sighs> This is my closet behind me and then my clothing rack, but let me show you guys what the situation is. So right now, this is like the junk portion of our closet. So these two bins, these two giant bins, have all of our off-season clothes in it. So that's what I'm going to be going through today because you know what? It's almost fucking spring, you guys. Like this weekend is daylight saving, so I'm trying to get this shit done. Also, I'm really sorry that you can hear my washing machine and my fucking dishwasher at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take these bins out and throw all of my clothes on top of my bed. And I'm just gonna like try shit on and kind of go through it. This whole bin right here is all stuff that I'm donating. So once we get a bed frame, I'm planning on replacing these two bins for like the long ones that go under your bed. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with these for now though in the meantime, but not a big deal. So let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> These are so heavy. Okay, so I'm definitely planning on like putting some stuff away because I don't think I'm really gonna need all of my coats and stuff as much anymore. I'm so excited. Literally, my summer clothes are so cute. <laughs> so right off the bat, this bag is all swimming suits. I know that I'm going to be getting rid of some of these because I really, I say this every summer, but this summer I'm really serious and I really, really want to like up my swimsuit game. So yeah, those are going on the bed. Now we're just going to have to just go all in. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick change in three, two, one. How was that? So I just wanted to show you guys what we're like actually working with here. So yeah, this is currently what I have to work with. I've got a few bags. I've got my bag of swimming suits and then I've got some shoes. I've got more shoes over here. Um, yeah, this is a lot. A lot of this too is Chris's. So I'm gonna kind of leave him his own pile to go through later tonight, but most of these clothes are mine, I'm not gonna lie. If you guys could only see my whole tripod setup right now. We're just gonna jump straight into this. I'm honestly gonna be trying a lot of these clothes on just over what I'm wearing because I don't feel like stripping right now. First item, this sweatshirt I got from my grandma and it's from London. She got it like in London. I love this sweatshirt. I'm really surprised that she even gave this to me. It's a little wrinkly. Um, I think that I am going to hang this up because I don't even know why I had this in my bin in the first place. So <laughs> definitely keeping this up. This is like one of those things that I'll pretty much never get rid of. This is in no particular order because I literally just threw all this stuff on my bed. Um, so I thrifted this skirt. <laughs> um, it's about midi length. Like it goes right to my like ankles, I guess. Oh, my dishwasher's done. It's just like a midi maxi skirt. It's a very like light baby pink. Um, I really love this. There is a weird seam right here, but whatever. This dress shrank a little bit in the wash, which is very unfortunate. Ow! Kitty literally just went chasing after the strings on this dress and then fucking scratched my toe. Megan Hughes has this dress. Um, it's originally from Target and she thrifted hers, but I got mine at Target. I don't really mind that it like flattens my boobs <laughs> because that means that I don't have to wear a bra with it. Um, but yeah, I was honestly like envisioning this dress and like picturing myself getting rid of it. But now that I have it on, I'm like, wait, I actually love this. Like I said, it's a little bit tight in my boobs, but oh well. So this is another one of my favorite dresses. I do like to wear this one in the fall time, but 
Then again, olive green is just one of my favorite colors. I usually just tie this right here in the front as tight as I can. But, yeah, tell me this isn't so cute. I can't believe I thrifted this. It's a little wrinkly. All of these clothes are gonna be wrinkly. I'm sorry if that annoys you. This is something that definitely goes in like my fancier clothes section. I'm not much of a romper person. And of all places, I think that I actually got this at like Ross or something. It is like a deep plunging neckline, which is very risque for me. You just tie it up in the front. Ignore that you can see my biker shorts. Um, but like, look how pretty this is. And for Ross, like, are you kidding? It does have like a little bit of room in the boob area because my boobs are like medium sized. Like they're not small, but they're not big either. So clothes are a little bit awkward on me when it comes to the chesticle area. I'm gonna try to stay on the trend of dresses. So this one I got from Target a few years back and I wear it every year on me and Chris's anniversary, even like not wearing it for that. This dress is literally everything. Um, with the stretchy fabric, I don't have to wear a bra. Again, the sleeves are just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Only thing that I don't love is that it's such a muted pink that it honestly matches my skin tone. But, you know, there are certain things that you just accept. I also have this one, and it's a muted pink like that one as well. But this one is a little bit more like bohemian and like hippie looking than the last one. This one in the summertime is so easy to just throw on and go about your day. It's also a really great swimming suit cover up. So yeah, it's the same kind of like really, really light pink that almost matches my skin tone. But I love this that's up here at the top. It's pretty short, but I can definitely get away with it. And I also like how the sleeves are like kind of gathered, but it's not super tight around my arm. It's literally the comfiest dress. I'm already off the bat like very on the fence about, so it's from Brandy Melville. And this one is really cute to wear like at night in the summer. And this one is also like the last one, it's pretty short, which makes me a little uncomfortable, but with like a belt, it's so cute. I really like this pattern though. Yeah, I think I will hold on to this one, I don't know. This is something that I also recently thrifted that I knew that I couldn't pass up for the summer. I never wear blue, so this is kind of outside of my comfort zone, but again, it's got the stretchy at the top, so I don't have to wear a bra. It's got really cute sleeves on it. I mean, like, seriously, look at how fucking cute this is. Of course, like, I wouldn't normally have straps with this, but <laughs> this one's also like a midi length and it has not that you can see but it has two slits on each side i love the concept of this dress um but i did actually pick this out of the little girls section so it's pretty see-through since it's white and the straps are just a little awkward oh, now that i have it on i'm like why am i complaining about this dress it's like right at my knees i think it's really cute i think this is really really cute uh, moral of the story, I'm not getting rid of any of my dresses. <laughs> I promise you though that once we get to like t-shirts and other things that I will be purging a little bit more. <laughs> like this is pretty much like, hey, look at my spring wardrobe. <laughs> this is one of those dresses that is like 100% linen. And I wore this last year, but I wore it with my Burks, so it kind of made me look like Jesus. When I first throw it on, this is literally like completely unflattering, but hold on. This is typically like how I would wear it. Ooh, this is a really good dress. It's from Brandy Melville, and I literally thrifted this at Goodwill. I love the neckline. I love the pinstripes. This is another thing that looks good with my tattoos. Fits me literally like a glove. I love this to death. Keeping this dress is one that I do really, really like for work. Um, and it's also a good one to just throw on if I'm like running out the door. So yeah, this is actually gonna go into my work bin. Now, I'm not even gonna try this one on. This is just a red stripe dress that I also have for work. Ooh, this is one of my favorite items. So 
I got this, I think it like a Ross or something. These are literally perfect. This is so cute. I love the gray and white stripes. It is pretty see-through, but you know, it's fine. It's a full jumpsuit, but it's really, really lightweight, so it's really good for like the springtime. This is another like linen type of one. This dress is a very good like knockoff. Um, you can see my biker shorts, but yeah, it's actually like a good length. Fits me really well. It fits me better than I remember it fitting. This is one that when I'm like sitting in the car, the straps fall down, which is really annoying. But when I'm just like walking, they fit fine. I mean, this is just good. This is a dress that's from Hollister that I thrifted at Plato's Closet. This one's like picnic bitch as fuck. It's the nice like off the shoulder, scrunchy at the top. And then it does like a crisscross and it's longer in the back than in the front. I mainly also got it because it literally fits me like a glove. I wouldn't need to wear a bra or anything with it. Maybe this would be cute to go out in. I don't know. I don't think that this is really my style anymore. So I'm going to sell this. Uh, but take a good look at it if you want it. I think my manager handed this down to me. Um, but this is so good to throw on over top of swimming suits. If you don't feel like wearing a dress. This dress I think would be really cute to wear like either on me and Chris's anniversary or maybe on like my birthday. It's nice and structured, wouldn't have to wear a bra with it, it's strapless obviously. I just love this type of neckline. Again, it hits in that nice part of my waist, kind of like the Princess Polly dresses do. This one goes really long. I had thought about having my mom hem it so that it would be like a little short dress, you know, but the long is just like so classy and it does have like a little slit in the back so I can walk. <laughs> this is one of my other favorites. I got this at like a very local thrift store. I got so many compliments on this dress last year on Instagram. It's a nice like white crochet. It goes into a pretty deep V, one that I'm normally not comfortable with. Uh, however, I am planning on getting like a cute little tattoo like right here. Very cute dress. Doesn't look like much when I have my biker shorts and tank top on, but it's so cute. It's nice and open in the back too. Um, these ruffles flap in the wind and hit me in the face. And they stick out a little more than I would like them to, but I love this fucking dress. I literally feel like a cute little princess when I wear this. <laughs> This is one that I also like to just throw on when I'm like chilling around the house, or I more so did last year. It's really cute, but both of the straps broke in the washer, and so they're like tied on back here. I mean, the shape of it is so cute and everything, but like look at the hem of it. Like, it's very, very crappy quality. I'm just gonna donate this one. Oh my god, I found another fucking dress. So this one I actually recently thrifted. So here's my deal. I think that thick straps like this are so unflattering on my body. It's got like a little tie in the back and then it's got the lace up here and like I said, it's buttoned down. I think that this is so cute. It's just like from here it's just the straps. No, maybe if it was like short sleeve, that would be really fucking cute. This reminds me of Alexa Sunshine 83. I feel like she would love this dress, but <sighs> why does the top of it look like that? I don't know. I need you guys to tell me. If I don't keep this, I'm definitely going to sell it, but I want it to work so bad. I just don't know if it's going to. We are done with dresses. These are from Union Bay. I'm probably like never gonna get rid of these. It's really hard for me to find overalls in my size. The material's a little stiff, so I like feel it between my thighs. But other than that, these are perfect. I think they're really cute. I like that they're like kind of an off-white. Mmm, these are so good. And the skirt's kind of hard for me to get on, but once it's on, it fits my waist really good. It's a very cute red gingham pattern. So cute, so lightweight. Pretty sure someone handmade this, so thank you to whoever did that. These shorts that are from Vans that Chris bought me from Zoomies. Oh, they're not bad with this tank top. I just, okay, I get really insecure wearing something that isn't super, super, super high-waisted where it covers my belly button. 
because as soon as my belly button sticks out, I feel like I look really trashy. I don't know why, because it's literally just a belly button, and I wouldn't think that if I, like, saw another girl out, but, like, when I see myself like this, I'm just like, ew, what am I doing? But these are, like, a really good material. They cover my butt fully. Um, they're really, really, really comfy, so I'm not gonna get rid of these. They're just not something that I, like, wear a lot. Next up are these bad boys, so they're currently uncuffed, and they're a little bit longer, but I actually am kind of digging that right now they're just a little bit baggy but they are these very high-waisted over my belly button i could wear something very cropped with these they're some shorts from guess these are a definite keep like i said like i would literally wear a crop top this short i don't have a problem showing my stomach at all it's solely just when like you can see like my belly you know just like to have that covered up Really quick, these are just like a comfy pair of shorts that I have for days that it's so hot that I don't want to wear jeans or anything. Um, they actually cover my whole butt, which is nice. They're from H&M, but I thrifted them. These shorts are super cute though, definitely keeping these. This is a pair of shorts that I bought off Depop because it's extremely hard for me to find shorts my size. I kind of bought these on a whim. They're extremely high-waisted, which I love, and they've just got like the cutest little floral pattern on them. They are like a comfier, kind of baggier fit, so they're not like crazy flattering or anything, but they're comfy and they're cute. Guys, I swear to God, I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. I just have so many good clothes that I'm not getting rid of. I DIY'd these literally back in like high school. That's how long I've had these. Um, I tore them up so much though and so close that like sometimes you can kind of see my underwear through here because the pocket will like shift, you know? I distressed like the back pockets and everything. They are a little bit loose around my waist, for sure. Um, but the beauty of Levi's is that even when they're big, they can still kind of fit. So with that being said, these are the other Levi's that I have. They're just black cutoff ones, but I do like to have these cuffed. They're kind of like a faded black, you know? These shorts I got at Forever 21 last year. I love how high-waisted they are. I love that they're like baggy. I wanted some kind of like cargo army green shorts. Um, these aren't like crazy flattering on me or anything, but they're so cute and they're so comfy that I don't really give a fuck. These shorts are near and dear in my heart because these were jeans. I never have the guts to wear like full-on brown pants. So I cut them into shorts, and I mean, again, over the belly button, high-waisted, fit me like a glove. I cut them, like, thankfully right to the perfect length, but I love these. I think these are my last pair of shorts. Um, these are my go-to high-waisted cut-off jean shorts. I like all the fraying on them. They're not crazy flattering on my butt. But I think they're very flattering from the front. I love how long the zipper is. And I love, of course, that it goes over my belly button. These are just perfect. They're from Arizona. So this is something that in theory I do love. But I don't think I'm going to keep these just because I literally didn't wear them last year. But it's a skirt. It's like a nice little wrap skirt. Shorts in the back, obviously. Skirt in the front. So cute. And it'd be really cute for like a night out, but I never wore these, so I'm gonna get rid of them. This skirt is kind of something that like breaks my heart because if it were just maybe a different color, <clears throat> I would keep it. Um, I don't even mind like the black, but it's got like some pinky purple down here at the bottom. I love the style of this skirt so much, and I actually bought it to wear to work, but the slit on it goes like little too high so it feels inappropriate i thought about like sewing the slit and then having the slit just go right at my knees because then it would still be really cute but like it's also so flattering with the slit up that high literally the skirt fits me so good like a glove i don't want to get rid of it but since i can't really wear it to work i'm like am i going to wear this like i need to just find the same style skirt, but maybe with like, that's white with like a rose print on it or something. This skirt's super cute. It's a nice like neutral plaid, has the buttons going down, 
on the side, which I think is a cute little detail. Um, it fits me literally perfect. If I ate too much, I mean, like, I am kind of spilling out over it, just a hair. I think this is really cute. It would be really, really cute with, like, a very short crop top and a blazer. That's kind of why I bought it. This skirt is not even remotely my color at all, but I love the style of it so much that I had to keep it. Um, this one was also a hand-me-down from my manager. She, like, always hands me down her clothes, which is awesome. So... This is like a nice long maxi skirt, but it has like the slits in the side as you can see. It's extremely comfortable. I kind of want to take a gamble and bleach this and see if I can get it to a pinker color. Just cause like I said, I do not wear this color. I actually cannot stand the color maroon. This skirt was a very, very um, lucky thrift find, I think. So it's an actual schoolgirl skirt that I had to sew my own button onto because the original one was broken in half, but it fits me like a glove. This with like some really thick chunky sneakers or like some chunky boots would be so cute to do a little bit of an edgier look. And I don't want to get rid of like all my edgy clothes, so I am going to hold on to this piece because it's so cute. I got this one. It reminded me again of Princess Polly. I know for sure I showed this in a haul. Little tight to where I do feel like I'm spilling out just a little bit, but obviously I'm skin and bones, so like whatever. Now we're moving into pants. These are very, very lightweight pants. I've had these for a long time, but I decided to keep them specifically for springtime. They actually fit me so good around my waist, which is like such a rare thing for me. Um, and they're elastic, so they're really comfy. Cropped them kind of short, but I think that these with just like the brown Steve Madden sandals, a cute little crop top would be so cute for spring. Going right along with those, I also found these linen ones. They have a tie on the inside, which is kind of strange. Why do I love these? These are linen pants. Oh my god, I have been trying to find linen pants for such a long time. Um, they're a little bit cropped on my ankle, about the same length as the like, last pants that I tried on. They desperately need to be ironed, especially like around my leg. Um, but I like that I have the option to do the tie because I can really kind of cinch them in around my waist. For the sake of the rest of this video, I'm throwing these shorts on and I'm going to take off my tank top. I forgot I was wearing a nude colored bra and it, I was like, oh my god, am I naked? This is the category that I'm going to be getting rid of the most clothes. So I'm also going to stand just a little bit closer, I think. So this shirt I just thrifted. I love the boxiness of it. It's a really, really lightweight material. I don't know how well you can see that, but I really like the very subtle pattern on this. I think this looks cute oversized. I could also tuck it in. It's literally like such a good summer shirt for the really, really, really hot days. This is like my only cropped sweater that I own. My manager handed this one down to me. It's a nice like blush baby pink color. And it is so cute. It is the perfect sweater for springtime. Um, it's cute to just tuck in with shorts. It's cute to wear over top of dresses with skirts, all that jazz. It's so cute with my overalls too. This is like the perfect spring sweater. I tried really hard to love last year. I like the concept of it and everything, but it does the stupid collar thing. It's not that flattering. I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> I found another dress. This shirt is amazing. I'm not going to button it just because I don't feel like it, um, but it's really cute to wear either tied up. Honestly, that looks so good. Like what the fuck? Uh, but it's cute to wear tied up. It's cute to wear open. It's cute to wear buttoned up and tucked in. Pattern on this though. So cute. So good. I love it. Keeping. Okay, I'm going to be dead ass with you guys right now. Band t-shirts are something that I have such a love-hate relationship with. I think because I wore band t-shirts for such an extended period of my life that I'm kind of like over them now and I don't think they're very cute. But this is a Led Zeppelin one. Now that I just threw it on, especially with these shorts, I love it, so I'm not going to get rid of this. I have a lot of like cropped band t-shirts. Um, I think that they're, they're cute, but I never fucking wear them. This is one that I stole from Chris. 
It's a Doors shirt. Fuck, I love it. <laughs> this is a very good layering piece. This is from Brandy Melville. Um, it's like a nice ribbed white crop top. It's got the lettuce trim. I love this. I especially love that it's like so high neck. It did get like kind of stretched out because I wore it so much last summer. So I'm really hoping that my new dryer will kind of shrink it a little bit. This is something that I had thrifted solely with the intent of wearing it in the summer. And I like the little like baby cap sleeves. <sighs> this one I'm really on the fence about because like it's cute, but is it that cute? Not really. This is a super cute little crop top that I thrifted that's originally from Target. You can either wear it off the shoulder or just wear it on the shoulder, which is like really nice to have that option. It's got super cute little sleeves. It's cute. I don't have a lot of cute tops, so I'm definitely holding on to this for now. I don't know what it is about summer, but it actually kind of opens my mind to wearing color. I love the way that this t-shirt fits me. Um, I like to wear it tucked in. I honestly wore it with these shorts a lot last year. It's just so good. Like, it is literally so good. This is something that I actually love to death. Um, I love the buttons on it. I love the pattern on it. I actually don't love it as much as I used to now that I have it on, which is really weird. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this, sadly. Um, but yeah, I did love this. I just never really wore it. I feel like this is the kind of shirt that really brings out, like, my bisexual energy. Which is not a bad thing at all. But <laughs> I just, like... I get so girly in the summertime and I just never really find myself grabbing for this shirt. Alright, I'm also not going to button this up, but this is a staple item to have in your, your wardrobe no matter what season it is, but especially for like spring and summer because you can kind of just throw it over a tank top. You can wear it buttoned up and tight like that. You can wear it buttoned up and tucked in. You can throw this over a swimming suit. This is the most versatile piece of my wardrobe pretty much besides like my jean shorts. It took me a very long time to find like the perfect white button up, but this one I thrifted, but it's originally from Forever 21. Only thing that I don't like is that, I don't know if you can tell, but it is pretty see-through, but like, whatever. This is a really cute little tank top that I thrifted. I love the higher kind of square neckline of this. I usually have a little bit of a hard time wearing it with a bra, but it actually works pretty well with this one. Just another really cute basic. I don't know if you know this about me, probably not. I am not a fan of Nike whatsoever. I'm not a sporty person. But for some reason, I love this t-shirt. I love the length that I cropped it at. I love the shade of gray. I actually do also really like that I cropped the sleeves. Whew, this is a lot. I never grab it because it's Nike. I think that if it didn't have the Nike logo, I would probably wear this like on a daily basis. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this shirt, but I'm gonna put on my thrift list that I wanna find a very similar oversized gray t-shirt to crop to the same exact length. I'm not even gonna put this on. I bought this t-shirt last year because I liked all the animals on it, especially because it has a sloth, but I'm not gonna wear this. So I'm just gonna get rid of it and put it on my Depop. This shirt is very, very similar to my dress that I tried on earlier. I love this. Oh my god, I wore this shirt so much last summer. I love all the detailing on the back of it. I love how oversized and flowy it is. Like, look at this. It reminds me of Megan Hughes, um, and it also just taps me into, like, my seven-year-old hippie self. So this shirt... Is hideous. I wish that this was like up here but I'm like too scared to cut it too scared to sew it so I usually just wear it tucked in. This one's a little sad for me to get rid of because I got this off Depop and I obviously love it because it has cats all over it. It's even got orange key I honestly do not like the fucking maroon red at all. And as you can tell, it's really, really, really big on me. I don't think it's flattering whatsoever. I think that if I found, like, a different cat shirt at a thrift store, that I would be head over heels. And I could just, like, replace this. So I'm gonna get rid of this. So this is one of those weirdly tacky things that I bought. Because I think that it's so cool. And I do still think that it's so cool. But... 
if I'm being real, I'm literally never gonna wear this, uh, so I'm gonna get rid of it, but I love all the detail, like, I love that it was, like, already cropped. I love the bandana print here and on the cuffs. I think the cuffs are a little bit much. I think it would be much cuter as a little t-shirt, but I'm not gonna do all that, so I'm gonna let somebody else have this because it's vintage and it's really cool. This right here is one of my staple summer outfits. I love Hawaiian shirts. This one actually fits me. Hello. And now finally, one of my prized thrift finds is this adorable little shirt. Everything about this is perfect to me. This is one that you could wear either like off the shoulder, you could wear it on the shoulders. That's probably how I'll wear it most of the summer. Oh my god, picture if I had like a little cow print belt. Oh. Now we are solely on to my jammies and my swimming suits. I do have two things that I've held on to for so long and I just don't wear. So it's like, what am I doing with my life? I just never have the heart to actually get rid of this. Now that I have it on, it's so cute. I kind of wish that this was white, honestly, but yeah, I mean, it's tight enough crochet that I wouldn't have to wear a bra with it. It hangs so cute down here, but this is my problem. feel like this is a lot of skin for me, but like, holy crap, it's so cute. This is something that I desperately wish could work, but I will never ever in my life have the confidence to wear this. As you can see, it's like a ridiculously deep V. I love the shape of like the back. I love that it's open back with like the halter, um, but it does come pretty close on my side boob, which is my problem. I also am a sucker for anything that like peeks this tattoo out just a little bit. But yeah, the front of this is just not okay. The back of it is not okay. None of this is okay. <laughs> this is one of my favorite Jamie sets. I got this from Target last year. It is white and yellow striped. So cute, so cute, so cute, so comfy. Also, Claudia Walsh has this. She bought it after I did. And I was like, yes, sister. I sounded like James Charles. And I have these two bags. These are my main summer bags i like the brown because i tend to wear way more brown than black this was just cute for photos and for a day that i want to actually carry a purse this is my main summer backpack i love this um but i feel like i go through backpacks pretty fast and i saw that this one was like starting to kind of tear in some spots can you even see that i stopped using this and put it away for summer but i'll definitely be bringing that one back out I'm gonna take a pee break, bring you guys down and show you guys a very couple, very few couple of swimming suits that I have, and we'll go from there. I'm honestly pretty bummed that you guys never got to see the last decluttering video that I filmed, because I got rid of so much more than I kept. I'm gonna go through my swimming suits now. This one I really like, but the back got stained pink because I wore this when I had pink hair. I also have this black one. It's literally from Walmart as well. Same exact style, but this one, I'm always really close to a nip slip in. And then I had these bottoms to go with it. Because last summer, I don't know why, but I was just feeling like really insecure about my body. And I wanted to show as little skin as possible. And that is why I also got these blue bottoms to go with the red and white striped top. But... I'm gonna get rid of these bottoms because they're not flattering at all. This top I got at Walmart on a whim because I just really needed a swimming suit, but I don't really like it, so I'm getting rid of it. So, this is one of my bottoms that I have that is from Victoria's Secret. As you can tell, it is extremely cheeky. I mainly have this for tanning, but you know, I would really like to get the confidence to wear this because one of my goals is to really work out my ass. I have this bathing suit top. It's a push-up black one. Um, I'm going to get rid of this because I never have the confidence to wear that. Um, I really don't need that. The other thing that I have are these bikini bottoms, these black ones that are ruched and have like the lettuce trim, but they're ruched in the butt. These are really cute, really flattering, keeping these. And then I also have this like crochet styled green uh, like halter swimming suit top. This kind of works as like a little crop top and a swimming suit in one So I'm definitely keeping that and my manager gave me this swimming suit 
I really love this, so I'm going to hang on to it. Don't know how much I'll wear it, though, because I feel like it's a little baggy in my butt because it is a size medium, and with it being white, I'm constantly scared that you can see through it, but I'm going to give it one more shot just because it's the only one piece that I own. I only have one pair, and it's these from Forever 21. I hate flip-flops, but I feel like everyone needs them just for, like, wearing it like the lake or at the river or at the pool this is our swimsuit bag yee that was everything i guess i'm gonna spin you around so we can get some better lighting actually no i need to show you my piles this is my get rid of pile this is my dress pile mm, that's my key pile and then those are chris's clothes those are my two bags and my dress for work jammies swimsuits and then that's where all my skirts are gonna get hung up on not getting rid of anywhere near as much as i'm keeping but i think that i did okay i tried to keep that as short as possible because i don't want my phone to just completely crash on me again that was my whole decluttering video i hope you guys liked it um this is what you voted for so you better like it i'm just kidding <laughs> um but if you did give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel to see more from me and um I need some help from y'all in the comments. I need to know, should I keep the jean dress? And where can I get some cute swimming suits that aren't crazy overpriced, but aren't super cheap quality either? Um, I've been seeing some really cute ones on, I think it's Shein. Don't know how I feel about supporting that company though. Um, so I just want to find something that's flattering. I really specifically like, like high-waisted things and then just anything that doesn't show like too much cleavage on top but also isn't like super covered just because I do hate tan lines. I'm picky. I don't know. Hopefully I can find some but I would really appreciate some suggestions in the comments. So yeah. Hope you guys like this. I have to put all of these clothes away now. So <laughs> yeah, we plan on getting like a lot of stuff for the closet. So I'm going to do like a whole closet transformation and the closet tour eventually when I have the money to do all of that. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.